Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. From this video onwards, I will be uploading more videos on algorithm analysis in which you can learn to analyze an algorithm from basics to advanced level. Because you peoples are requested to upload more videos on algorithm analysis, so I am going to do that from this video onwards. Now let's start from the basic. First of all, we need to understand what is an algorithm. An algorithm is a finite sequence of steps or you can say a finite sequence of instructions to solve a particular problem. Say for example, here I am giving you a problem to prepare a tea. In order to prepare a tea, what is the first step? First you have to take tea pan and then add some amount of water and tea leaves and bring it to boil. In the second step, you have to add some amount of sugar and milk as per your requirement and wait for it to boil and that is going to be the third step. And in the fourth step, you have to filter the tea into a cup. So if you follow these four steps, then only you will end up with tea. Otherwise, you will end up with some other recipe. Now, if you write these four steps into sentence form, then that is going to be your algorithm to prepare tea. Now, whenever you are writing an algorithm, you have to follow certain properties. First property is finiteness, which means your algorithm should contain finite number of steps only. It should not contain infinite number of steps and it must have some endpoint. That is finiteness. And your algorithm may or may not take inputs, but it should produce at least one output. Otherwise, it is not meaningful, right? Our algorithm should produce some kind of output. And finally, algorithm is language independent. Say for example, you are writing an algorithm for addition. Now, using that algorithm, you can write a program in any programming language. You can choose C or C++ or any other programming languages, which is up to you. And that's why algorithm is language independent. Now, let's see the life cycle of an algorithm. So, whenever you are trying to solve a problem in a programmatic way, first you need to understand the problem statement. And then you have to find out the constraints or conditions which are given in the problem and then you have to choose the correct designing method that is very very important so this designing methods can be divide and conquer or dynamic programming or greedy method you have to choose any one of these methods based on your problem statement and then you have to write an algorithm and do the analysis part so in this analysis phase you have to verify two things first one is time complexity in which you have to verify how much amount of time your algorithm is going to take for execution. So that is you are going to verify here. And the second one is space complexity in which you have to verify how much amount of main memory unit your algorithm is going to take for execution. So you have to verify these two things in analysis phase. If your algorithm is satisfying the required time complexity and space complexity, then only you have to move to the implementation phase. Otherwise, you have to do some changes in your algorithm and optimize it. And then again do the analysis part. If the requirements are satisfied, then move to the implementation phase. So this is the life cycle of an algorithm. Basically, we are having two types of analysis. One is priori analysis and the other one is posterior analysis. So this priori analysis is performed on algorithm. That is before the actual implementation, we are performing an analysis. Here, we are performing an analysis on algorithm so this is language independent that is you can write an algorithm for a problem and that can be implemented using any programming language and this priori analysis is hardware independent so the time complexity is going to be same for every system because we are performing an analysis on algorithm that is not yet implemented right and also this priori analysis will give you the approximate answer because it is going to use asymptotic notations now in posterior analysis, we are going to perform an analysis on program. That is, you have to write the program and run it and check the time and space complexities. So this is straightforward that this analysis is dependent on language, right? Because we are doing the analysis on program. So this is language dependent. And also we are running the program and checking the time and space complexities. So it is hardware dependent. Say for example, it might be dependent on CPU speed, right? And also this posterior analysis will give you the exact answer because we are actually running the program in a machine. So it will give you the exact answer and it will not use any asymptotic notations and time complexity differs from system to system because we are performing an analysis on program. We are actually implementing the program and then 
we are running it and then we are checking the time and space complexities so obviously this is dependent on system hardware right so time complexity will be different from system to system and that's it i hope you understand the basic concepts of algorithm analysis and in the next video we will be start analyzing the basic programs